Hello everyone, my name is Michael Sherry and I'm with a dealership called Paul Sherry RVs. We're a dealer located in Ohio, uh, but we do sell nationwide. So to learn more about us and why we sell nationwide, and why customers are traveling hundreds of miles to find us, uh, just go to Google, type in Paul Sherry RVs. You can pause this video and come back to it later. It'll be on YouTube. Uh, go to Paul Sherry RV and just read our reviews, look at our website, know a little bit about us. So uh, you guys are good at that, so go ahead and jump in that. Uh, in the RV segment, a lot of times we do not see innovation. It seems like a lot of companies are just copying other companies and really no one's like being innovative out there. I, I kind of catch that. It takes it takes a company like Keystone Bullet to become innovative and kind of set the bar for everyone else. And that's kind of what the Keystone Bullet brand has done since its inception. It has always been one of the lightest weight travel trailers on the market. Uh, but it's not super tiny. You can actually use this RV. You know, I was appraising an RV just yesterday, and yeah, it was lightweight, but uh, I, I would call it a coffin on wheels. You couldn't even sit up in it, let alone stand up. It was so small. Uh, so the Keystone Bullet has found a way to use innovative products that are lighter in weight uh, to allow you to have a lighter weight trailer that your half-ton truck can pull without sacrificing size or amenities that the other guys have. And also... Super innovative on floor plans, super innovative on decor, uh, where everyone else is doing the same decor we, you, they've done for the last really 10 years, plus or minus a couple shades of brown. The Keystone Bullet has stepped out of the pack and said, look, we're going to do something totally different. And I'm excited to show this to you today. So it's windy outside, so I'm sitting inside. But I am going to go outside as soon as I turn this camera around. Probably won't talk too much uh, because it is a little windy out there. And then we'll jump back inside and uh, catch you up to speed what we looked at. Here we go. Pardon the wind noise. Maybe it'll break for us here. Yeah, actually it kind of slowed down. All right, Keystone Bullet. Uh, this is the Premier, which is the uh, nicer of the two Bullet uh, products. We have the regular Bullet off to the left, Premier off to the right. So you notice the first is the different in the colored front cap. This cap is fully painted with an automotive paint, and it does wrap around the corners, which we're not seeing a lot of that anymore where they wrap around the corners. It's more expensive to do that, and also wraps around the top, as you can see there. And the cap is a full cap. It's not a three-quarter. It goes all the way down to the to the very most to the frame of the trailer. Uh, so you don't see a lot of that just because it's expensive to do. But the Bullet wants an aerodynamic, good looking, and very well constructed cab. And that's what they have here. Built-in LED lights on both sides. Built-in two propane tanks, power tongue jack on both sides as well. This is part of the Keystone family of RVs. Uh, so it does come with the nation's best or the industry's best warranty. Uh, you see it has the power stab jacks in all four corners. Big pass-through storage. Notice the cork board off to the right. Innovative. Aluminum built. More expensive, but lighter in weight. This is another innovation here. Your uh, water hookups all right here in this clean compartment. Your uh, buttons to extend your landing gears right there built-in battery disconnect we are not seeing that in travel trailers although they definitely need it again innovation it's the big slide out here opens it up nicely inside a little more outside storage all tinted windows it has the extreme rounded roof that keeps the water off of it spare tire on the back there's our website check it out do want to show you here these on these storage compartments. They were one of the first to do this magnetic catch. Everyone else was still using the cheap plastic catches. Still, I have companies on the lot that's still using the cheap plastic catches that like to break because they get brittle sitting out in the sun. This is what they call the 26 UDPR. This travel trailer weighs under 6,000 pounds. Really good floor plan. Uh, it does really well. A lot of customers find that this fits their needs well. This has the secure step going into the main entry, and then the bedroom entry uh, is right here. Power awning. All right, let's jump inside. All right, inside, what I started the video sitting on was these theater seats. They're really comfortable. They actually recline, have beverage holders here in the center there for your uh, beverages, which are, are nice. Big window behind it. 
and pleated shades in all the windows. All right, so looking at the rear of the trailer, it has the oversized U-Dinette. Now, the benefit of the U-Dinette is you can fit more people around it, and it goes down to a bigger bed. So that table's going to come down flat. The cushions are going to lay uh, across where the table is, and it's going to make a nice big bed for your extra sleeping. Big, big windows here. You can see your surroundings well. Uh, the entertainment system for this trailer is well placed, uh, so you can see it from almost any seat on the dinette booth and both of the seats on the uh, theater seat. It comes with a television, LED flat screen, a built-in radio with your CD and DVD player. Now this is going to be Bluetooth as well, uh, of course AM, FM. That'll play music inside or outside or both. Other thing innovative about this trailer is the cabinet color. I don't know if you noticed that. So it's different, right? It's not a wood grain color. It's painted uh, It's painted cabinetry, which we're seeing in a lot of new homes. A lot of the, the cool white colors, the light, light gray. That is what this trailer has done. Everyone else scared to death in the RV industry to do. But I tell you what, the reaction from customers once they walk inside this trailer, they absolutely love it. Solid surface countertops. Uh, for a lightweight trailer, that's unusual to see a rock-type countertop in here. Comes standard in the Bullet Premier. Big basin sink. Residential-style faucet. Uh, and the cabinet doors above the kitchen here has a nice glass insert. And then your refrigerator and pantry is on this side. It's the RV refrigerator. It's the big one. Uh, freezer up top, refrigerator down below. And then your pantry off to the right. Some multiple shelves for the pantry. And then coming into the bathroom, uh, it is a walkthrough bathroom. Let me see if I can show you here. It is separated off, though. You do have your privacy with that uh, door there, the pocket door. So uh, that's nice. Um, but your bathroom here is a nice size bathroom. Uh, it's got actually a lot of countertop space in it. Has your plug-ins here for uh, maybe your hair dryer, electric razor, a uh, little bit of a medicine cabinet here, a uh, nice mirror to get ready in the morning. Um, you can sit on the stool and use it. It's got enough space. Some trailers don't. And also the floor space in this bathroom is nice. You can definitely get ready uh, in the morning uh, or in the evening in the bathroom. Spot for extra towels and toiletries. And then you have your stand-up shower here. Um, it does have this nice glass surround here. And then uh, another pocket door. Uh, I'll show you here. So pocket door. This is another one that goes into the master bedroom now. So master bedroom is going to feature a true queen bed. That's going to be 60 by 80. That's the same as if you have a queen bed in your house, right? So same, same size bed. I know in RVs they're sometimes different. Wardrobes on both sides, has a shelf above the bed, some lighting there, and then, uh, let me show you in here, so hanging clothes on both sides of the bed. Uh, this is something innovative here, is the laundry chute. It goes into your outside storage compartment, and then it does have a drawer on both sides uh, underneath that wardrobe. A lot of companies don't do that, uh, and no one does this. So a little nook back here great spot for your phones and things like that there's actually power back there so there's a usb and a normal electrical outlet that's at the head of the bed on both sides of the bed so great spot for your phones if you have cpap machine that type of thing uh that'll work good in there Okay, that finishes this video, uh, this 26 UDPR. Uh, this is a 2020 and a half uh, Keystone Bullet Premier 26 UDPR. So I'll post links below that have pricing, more information, availability, finance options uh, uh, with approved credit, trade options, that kind of thing. So definitely check that out. Thanks for watching.